Okay, we're going to finish up the Unit 8 Day 2 notes, and we're going to work on the back. Part 1 did the front, now we're going to work on the back. And basically, we're going to use the rules we had on the front to answer each of these questions. So the first thing you have to look at is, what shape are we talking about? Parallelograms. So what we know about the parallelograms are this stuff that we put on the front. Everything to this point is true for all parallelograms. So we know all five of these rules here. So we know that opposite sides are congruent, so if this is 15, this is 15. If this is 6, this is 6. I also know that opposite angles are congruent, so if this is 120, this is 120. And I know that the two that are next to each other are supplementary. So I do 180 minus 120, this has to be 60. And if this is 60, this is 60. By the way, here's a special hint. What do all four of the angles add up to in any quadrilateral? Well, this is 180, and this is 180, so 180 plus 180, they add up to 360. Well, if we think about it, I could draw this, and I'm making two triangles here. If this triangle adds up to 180, and this triangle adds up to 180, 180 and 180 makes 360. So just think about a quadrilateral as two triangles. So the angles have to add up to two triangles worth, or 360. All right, on our next one. Now we're talking about a rectangle. So now we know all the rules for parallelograms plus these two additional ones for rectangles. So we know the corners are 90s, and it tells me A, R, B is 120. A, R, B, this one's 120. Well, what's this one? Well, those two are vertical, so this has to be 120. And it tells me A, C, this line is 10 on it, uh, 10. And B, C, this line is 6. Well, if we consider this triangle here, what kind of triangle is that? Well, that's a right triangle. If this side is 10 and this is 6, how can I find the missing side? We can use Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is 6, b is the one we don't know, and c is 10. If you work that out, this is 36 plus x squared equals 100 minus 36 x squared equals 64, so take the square root, and you get x is 8. So this side is 8. And we just use Pythagorean theorem with it because it's a right triangle. Well, if this is 6, this is also 6. If this is 8, this is 8. And this other diagonal here is also 10 because the diagonals are congruent. Now let's figure out our missing angles. Well, this right here is another triangle. If I know this angle is 120, what kind of triangle is this one right here? Well, it's an isosceles triangle, so now we can also use our rules about isosceles triangles. This angle is congruent to this one. So I subtract from 180, and I get that this is 60 for both of them, but how do I find just one? Well, I divide by 2, and I get that this one's 30, and this one's 30. Well, if this corner is 90 and this one's 30, this one has to be 60, so they add up to 90 degrees. And if this one's 60, this one's 60. And then I can either use these add up to 180, or I can use this straight line adds up to 180. So this one is also 60. This one's also 60. And then this side is exactly a reflection of that side, so they all match up, and this is a reflection of that side. So I can just copy them down. This one is just like the one at the top. Uh, this is 120, and this one are 60 and 60. So we figured out all the angles in there. All right, the next one. Now we've got a rhombus. So it says ABE is 30, AE, this side here is 3, this side here is 4, and this side here is 5, and it says find all the missing sides. Well, first I know all the sides of a rhombus are equal, so they're all 5. 
I know these are dot are bisected, so if this is four, this is four, and this is three, this is three. I know that these are perpendicular, and I know that because it said right here the diagonals are perpendicular for a rhombus. I know this is 30, this is 90, so this has to be 60 because these three add up to 180. And I know right here these two angles are congruent in a rhombus because the diagonal bisects the angles. So if this is 30, this is also 30, and if those are 30, these are, and then these two are the same. And I know all these are 90s in the middle. So I just found all the angles there. Now we're going to do a square. The squares are probably the easiest ones. All the sides are the same, so if this is 10, they're all 10. And I can use this triangle here to find the length of this side here. Because I can just use Pythagorean theorem. These sides are both 10, so this is 100 plus 100, this is 200, and then I need to take the square root of that. Do that on my calculator and I get 21.1 is C. So this side here is 21.1, and I could find that whole length is 21.1, or I could just find each part of it by dividing that by 2, and I'll get that this part here is 10.5, and this part here is 10.5. Then the angles in a tri square are really easy. These are all 90 degrees, just like on the rhombus, and this corner is 90, and these two are equal, just like on the rhombus. So what's 90 divided by 2? Well, all these are 45. In fact, all of these are 45. 45 all the way around. I can just keep going around all 45s. Okay, finally this one I'm at the bottom. It's another parallelogram. And I know ABE is 57. And I know CBE is 48. And it wants me just to find all the missing angles. Well, remember that this angle, let's start here. These two are parallel. And if I consider this line here, this one and this one are alternate interior angles. So this one is congruent to this one because these are parallel. Here's my transversal. These are alternate interior. So this is 57 and this is 48. I also know that this side... Uh, I'm also going to tell you this in the problem. This got accidentally left off. This one right here is 20, which just like that, this one, if I consider this transversal and these are parallel, this one is congruent to this one. Then, what should these angles on this side add up to? Well, remember, the, all these on this side add up to 180. So if I add the three of them together, I'm going to get 135 when I do 57 plus 48 plus 20 equals 135, then subtract that from 180, and I get 55. That means this missing one is 55 here and 55 here. Then I can find these missing ones because each one of these triangles adds up to 180. So add these together, subtract from 180, and we get this is 112. And then this is 112, this is also 112 because these are vertical. And then I can subtract 180 from 112, and I get that this one here is 68, and this one's 68. And I can find all the angles in my parallelogram that way.